Hello everyone and welcome to my retro corner. Uh, I want to show you in this video my well the work I did on my 5041-2 restoration and uh, well it was because it was in a such a bad condition initially so I decided to make it to make uh, such a modification here and a modding on uh, this particular drive because it had it had um, a very bad plastics that were completely broken on this part so I decided to make it to make a window to cut out the, the bad part and make it become a window which allows you to uh, see through the, um, the mechanics and to see how the, the drive works how the head uh, moves and etc and you can see all the all the the inner life of this uh, drive. It has also a function uh, that acts like a cover. You can I can put it out and access simply to the head if I have to uh, clean it out or something. So it it um, avoids to uh, to open the screws uh, to, to lose the screws and open up the the cover, the main cover. I have loosened it just for uh, to show you how how the things look like inside but normally it's closed and I have a fast access to to all the the stuff in there so the modding consists of not only that transparent window but the highlight of all of all the drive of all the work I did is this display which is a um, track display also called track Duino because it's based on a on an Arduino Nano, uh, which uh, interfaces and communicate between the disk drive, the the main the main uh, PCB of the the main board of the drive, and it it picks out uh, some information uh, which uh, are driven to the Arduino and translate it to well we can call it a translation to the display and uh, show, shows then the tracks I have for example if you call the directory you can see the drive the, the head moves on track 18 which is the direct the, 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 the directory track and you can see moving the, the head inside and uh, also if you will we will load a game we have here the track display which the head is uh, now moving and you can see all the, the things here happening inside. So if we want to take a look inside the drive, we have here all the stuff that is connected normally, but yeah, I have to simply disconnect here the things and the mechanism. So as you can see the bracket is um, fixed by some cables here and connectors which is to fix it on with the display internally and we can take it out I have uh, loosened all the things, all the screws already because just for demonstration purposes so it's uh, a little more simpler to, to make it so this is all the, the, the work out that the drive to make that to make that track display happen and this is all the stuff that is here this is the cable which is connected to the display and uh, with only four cables and this is the reset cable which allows you to reset the whole display thing if something uh, goes wrong etc I made this little project with PCB way which uh, made me this nice very nice PCB like you can see here and well and the results are uh, that you can see here so I'm very satisfied and I always choose PCB way because I always like how 
things are made and the service and the professionality. So I recommend you PCB way because it's the best way to create your own PCB. So back to our drive, uh, I can reassemble the whole stuff. So as you can see, there is very less uh, modification on the board. You have just to put in uh, this interface and connect the cables with the display. You can put the display wherever you want. You can put it on the front, you can put it externally, you can put it uh, well, wherever you want. And wherever space is available, of course, so it's up to you to decide where to, to make that mod if you want to and if you have a spare drive. There are still a bunch of people that think that making those kind of modification and modding workouts on the Commodore and not Commodore drives and devices is a wrong way to preserve our things, our stuff. Uh, well, I think that if you have a, a couple of those drives and you have one of them which is in a bad condition and you don't want to put it away or to put it in some uh, corner in a hidden place that you can't use it anymore the best thing to do to preserve it is that to make a beautiful modding with your color you if you want to to paint it if you want to create something well that makes it look better if you want to implement some uh, new functions I think that's the, be the best way to keep it and to make it work and you can you are more much more satisfied to use your uh, personal device and uh, like uh, if you want it to be so that's my opinion so as you can see here is the the matched <laughs> C64 uh, that came with the same color. I did it. I did this work, this mounting a couple of years ago, and well, I think they match perfectly together. I can load uh, here uh, one of my favorite games. You can see here the the trucks are running, the the head is moving, the drive is spinning, and that's all. So the game is loaded. It's one of my favorite games uh, called Micro Hexagon, and uh, it's a little puzzle game in which you have to drive that little cube here out of the corner of the hexagon corner, trying not to touch the the walls here out there and the and as you can see the music is it's even it's getting even more faster and also the the animation so and um, that keeps the that keeps the the game a little more tricky so that's all it uh, i hope you like it i hope you enjoy my little workouts and well i well i hope you keep on modding if you like it and whatever you would like to modding and and the way you want to make it uh, and don't worry about people that uh, talk and uh, don't like and dislike so i hope you enjoy thank you for watching and keep it up and uh, subscribe if you want to and well thank you ciao